Greetings, seekers of legal wisdom. Welcome to Law Logical, where we demystify Indian civil, criminal, and cyber laws for you. Our mission is to make the complex world of law understandable and accessible to all. So, whether you're a student, a professional, or simply a curious mind, you're in the right place. Today's topic, we're diving into the legality and validity of stamp papers in India, a subject shrouded in mystery and often misunderstood. So, buckle up as we unravel the legal essentials around the validity of stamp papers in India. To grasp the concept of validity, first, we need to understand what a stamp paper is. A stamp paper is essentially a government-approved document that plays a critical role in legal transactions in India. It is used as a medium for paying the necessary stamp duty to the government for any kind of legal transaction. This stamp duty represents a form of tax that is paid to the government for the execution of documents that carry some legal weight. Now, why are stamp papers important? Well, they act as evidence of the duty paid to the government, thereby making the document legally valid. It's like a seal of approval from the government. Every legal document, from property transactions to business contracts, requires stamp papers to confirm their legality. So, a stamp paper is not just a piece of paper. It's a crucial component in the world of legal transactions in India. Now that we have a basic understanding of stamp papers, we can delve into their validity. The validity of stamp papers has been a topic of discussion and confusion for many. Let's clear the air. Stamp papers, those essential pieces of paper used in legal transactions, have their validity governed by the Indian Stamp Act of 1899. This century-old legislation doesn't explicitly state a validity period for stamp papers, leading to a lot of ambiguity. However, a landmark Supreme Court judgment in 2015 set the record straight. According to this ruling, stamp papers do not have an expiration date. Yes, you heard that right. There's no use by date for these papers. So if you've got some old stamp papers lying around, don't rush to discard them. They're still valid. The court's decision was based on the principle that the purpose of a stamp paper is to pay the government the requisite stamp duty. Once that duty is paid, there's no reason why the stamp paper should expire. The duty is not a tax, but a fee paid for the service of the court. It's a one-time payment that doesn't lose its value over time. There are, however, a few caveats to keep in mind. If a stamp paper is purchased for a specific purpose, and that purpose is not fulfilled within six months, the stamp paper loses its validity for that particular purpose. But it can still be used for any other legal transaction. Also, the Indian Stamp Act of 1899 mandates that the stamp paper should be used within six months of purchase to prevent misuse. But this doesn't mean the paper becomes useless after this period. It only means that after six months, the paper can't be used for the specific purpose it was initially bought for. So, contrary to popular belief, there is no expiry date for unused stamp papers. The validity is determined by the purpose and timing of use, not by the date of purchase. The next time you come across an old stamp paper, remember, it's not expired, it's just waiting to be used. Now, we address some common queries around stamp paper validity. One question that frequently pops up is, can old stamp papers be used for new transactions? To answer that, as per the Indian Stamp Act of 1899, there's no explicit expiry date mentioned for a stamp paper. So technically, yes, old stamp papers can be used for new transactions as long as they've not been previously executed. Another common query is what to do with unused stamp papers. Well, if you have stamp papers that are unused and unmarked, they can be used for future transactions. However, an essential point to remember is that the value of the stamp paper should align with the current stamp duty applicable for the transaction in question. A question that follows is, what happens if a stamp paper is lost? In such a scenario, the person who lost the stamp paper can apply for a duplicate one. This requires giving a notice to the collector of stamps, stating the loss and the circumstances of such loss. Next up, is a receipt necessary when buying a stamp paper? 
the answer is yes. A receipt is necessary because it serves as proof of the purchase and the value of the stamp paper. It's advisable to keep this receipt safe for future references. Now, what if the stamp paper is of a lesser value than required? In this case, the document would be considered as unstamped or insufficiently stamped. This could lead to penalties and the transaction could be deemed invalid. Therefore, it's crucial to ensure that the stamp paper's value corresponds to the transaction's value. Lastly, can a document be written on both sides of a stamp paper? The answer is yes. A document can be written on both sides of a stamp paper, but it's recommended to keep the main content on the side where the stamp is affixed. We hope that answers most of your questions about the validity of stamp papers. With that, we've covered the legal aspects of stamp paper validity in India. We've journeyed through a comprehensive understanding of stamp papers, their purpose and their significance in the Indian legal system. We've learned that these seemingly insignificant pieces of paper hold immense value and power in formalizing our agreements and transactions. We've unraveled the legal intricacies that surround the validity of stamp papers, providing clarity on a topic that often confuses many. We've also addressed the fact that there is no expiration on stamp paper validity as long as it's not damaged, lost or used in any manner. We've explored the consequences of using stamp papers of incorrect denomination and how it can potentially impact the legality of your document. And we've underscored the importance of understanding the legal framework that governs these papers to avoid any potential pitfalls and legal complications. In our quest to make law more approachable and easier to comprehend, we've taken on some of the most frequently asked questions about stamp paper validity. These questions and their answers have hopefully shed light on any lingering doubts or misconceptions. Remember, knowledge is power. And with this newfound understanding of stamp papers and their validity, you are now better equipped to navigate your legal affairs with confidence and assurance. Thank you for staying with us. Please like, share and subscribe to Law Logical for more such legal insights. Until next time, stay legally enlightened.